Today, I would like to um, talk about, it is called, the vision, driven life. I prepared this message um, for even your parents. Welcome back to JC Chapel. 우리 부모님들도 이 시간에 한번 라이브 스트림으로 듣기 때문에 제가 중간중간마다 좀 한국말 할 수도 있을 것 같습니다. I've been praying for this moment a while because um, as you heard about big transition in our school and we didn't plan to have a, you know, this transition about this time. Somehow we made and God provided the opportunity and by the end of this year we have a huge you know, uh, transition to go through and we're going to experience together. So I select the Bible verse, Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 18. Just one Bible verse. Let's read in one voice. It's King James Version. So KJV, a little bit uh, old, you know, the, ver the vocab or version, you could feel that. So in Korean and English, we could read together and let's read in English first, okay? One, two, three. Where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keeps the law, happy is he. 우리 한국말로 한번 읽어보도록 합시다. One, two. 묵시가 없으면 백성이 방자히 행하오리와 율법을 지키는 자는 복이 있느니라. Amen. From my Bible college seminary experiences, how do you have meaningful, precious daily devotion with the Bible? Very simple. You just select the Bible. Maybe I would suggest the Proverbs chapter, interchapters, like, you know, 1, 2, 31, which is the calendar. Today is 15, so you can open Proverbs chapter 15 and read of verse 1 to last one. And while reading, select one key word that you really like or touch your heart. You feel that God speak to you. So while reading this Bible verse, some of you guys may have some impression on certain <coughs> keyword. Maybe one of you guys may said perish, which is what? Destroy. God will punish. Or keep, which is the keeping. Remember. Or happiness or happy. But many scholars, many uh, pastors point out one keyword in this Bible verse. It is called vision. 많은 신학자들이 자문서 29장에 보면 여기에서 18절에 묵시, 결국은 비전이라는 그 부분에 포인트를 둔다는 것을 알수 있습니다. So I like to articulate, which means uh, more point out the vision with many stories, even the Bible, the message. History. If you like the social studies, definitely you guys learn about World War II. Hitler. Hitler was well-known speaker, public speaking a speech. You know, he had a great talent. One of he spoke to the, all of the people in Germany. They were really touched, amazed, inspired by Hitler's confidence and it is called inspiration. There's a huge differentiation between information and inspiration. Information means what? The knowledge and numbers of info, the words you were just what? Deliver to your people from your understanding. So which means what? You become just what? Shipping person or delivery person. But inspiration is quite different. Inspiration means what? The knowledge or your faith or something you cannot see, invisible spirit, which is what? Faith, mind, your perspectives will be what? Delivered to your audience, what? Change your mind, change your perspective, change your their lives. It is called inspiration. Hitler, he was not a just great speaker, just what? Delivered the information, but what? inspiration from what he wants to say that. It is called Germania. Germania means this one. Three years before the end of the World War II, 
in 1942, Hitler said, Berlin, today is capital in Germany, will be comparable as a world capital, which is what? Main city, only to Egypt, Babylon, or Rome. Three countries is what? They occupied dominant in the world a long time ago. Roman Empire, they occupied the world about more than about a thousand years. Babylon, they occupied all the Middle East, you know, the country areas, including Israelites. <coughs> Egypt, during the Moses time, they were the strongest country in ancient, ancient time. So Hitler had a huge what, vision for his country. He had a huge dream for his people. So what he said, our capital, which is Berlin, will what? The most strongest, famous city, which is where a lot of people come and get inspired. They respect our nation. It showed the what? All the, here, the city, the new capital, the design. And he spoke. And he will show the models and plans for Hitler's, it is called Germania, the vision including photos and documentations that evidence the Nazis planned to throw out thousands of Jews from their homes to make space for the massive new capital. In other, other words, he keep focusing on that. There are some people interrupt our business, interrupt our, all the what? Our plants, it is called Jews, Israel people. We start to remove these people from our city. That's why they deserve to get kicked out from us and they deserve to get killed. He commanded soldiers to build, it is called the Holocaust. Holocaust. And somehow about 6 million people of Jew, Jewish people they were here and got killed by Hitler's his somehow vision or his plans. Six millions. So can we say Hitler's vision was his right vision for all nations, even German people? Another another continent, Asia. China, China, Chinese, you know, a lot of went through they like historical moments, Chinese, you know, cultural revelation. It's like during the World War II. Now Mao, the one of the dictators, it is called, he want to achieve his personal leadership and with many followers, fellow the uh, Chinese, and what it is called communist. Communist what? Being equal and share their properties as equally what to share with the other people and said this is the democracy or the country idealism we want to pursue and we want to achieve together for what paradise but somehow there are some people who against disagree deny reject about what he want to address or point out and he started to make some plans and new vision for his country it is called killing people, or just what? They make, you know, the putting under all the difficulties. Unfortunately, about 40 to 80 million people, they got killed. Even they died because of a starvation, or so by the, you know, the killing, the, you know, situations. 4,000만 to 8,000 member. Do you know South Korean the population? About 50 million. 한국 인구가 지금 현재 다만 5,000만 명. It's about more than South Korean population got killed by this person. And another person, Pol Pot, the Vietnam, Vietnam, one of the dictators, he wanna once again had some vision for his country. And it is called communist, you know, they being doc the you know um, dominant in his country. But somehow, once again, there are some you know disagree or reject his the points. So he put all the people in the field and killed them. 
is more than one million people. It is called Killing Fields. I visited this place a few times. Even now, it has become a museum and put all the scallops, you know, stone, scallops, and a lot of, you know, the pictures. People they got killed even before they die. There's a the last picture, portrait. It's a horrible moment. They put the it's a memorial in the site. Stalin, Soviet un Union, today's Russia. During the World War II. In order to run the country, he bring the honor division for his nation, but about six million people, he put in his own plan to what? Kill them and then take over the leadership. Last one, North Korea. Kim Il-sung, on the left side person is a, the founder of the uh, North Korea. During the Korean War, how many people got killed? Over 2.5 million, 250만 명이 죽 by his division or his plants. The next son, Kim Jong Il, and today Kim Jong Un, his grandson, taking over his nation. A few days ago, Kim Jong Un and Putin, Putin, they met each other to talk about their nations. They're both dictators, running countries even give us a really hard time is that what it's like very attacking the uh, you know, democracy even the our peace i cannot say that they're good leaders because many many million people they're really struggling they lost their family members even they lost their freedom to speak even to believe in jesus christ but unfortunately i would say that all the dictators i mentioned that what they said, we do have a vision for our nations. My question is this one, is it right vision? Maybe not. It is called ambition. Ambition is meaning is quite different compared to vision. Ambition means what this one, a strong desire to do or to achieve something, typically requiring determination and hard work, which means what? They do, we do have a certain plan and goal to please myself and what for personal desire personal happiness something don't care about others we just focus on me or my family then somehow we came king saying this might be a vision for everyone but but we do require your victims your sacrifice your support definitely being required for what my own sake my purpose, my goals. On the other hand, envision is different meaning. The ability to think about or plan the future with imagination or wisdom. Vision is to what the plan for the future. Or we could imagine the happy moments, definitely inspiration or wisdom, we need that. About 2009, I went to uh, Cambodia. It was uh, my mission, the vision education trip with my uh, college, the staff members. It's a, it's a Pacific University research team. And the middle person, uh, his, uh, Alex, Dr. John, uh, he came from USC and finished about his higher education degree, doctoral degree. And really, really, he want to focus on education in mission field and he all the time the meet people who have some money and donate their money for his research projects and then he got some sponsorship final sponsorship from the one of businessmen what he suggested why don't you go to the university of cambodia and please research their what they ask then i will give you about more than about fifty thousand dollars then he collect the money and uh, he uh, recruit uh, some research you know, people, staff. I was uh, one of them, and we visited University of Cambodia. And this is the site, the picture, this uh, when I visit there, it's a really small site, but today it's a huge building, construction uh, project they finish up. And we interview about more than 300 people, in so students of the, uh, the University of Cambodia, and the questions. And I was, uh, uh, in charge of uh, student recruitment, 
uh, international student recruitment, and they had a lot of information about U.S. college, you know, education, how to apply, how to get a scholarship. The while they're interviewing the students, they found out I I came from Korea, South Korea, and then they start to ask the question. Can I know how to go to college in Korea? Would you tell me or do you advise me how to go to America with a lot of scholarships? And I asked this question, what is your plan or vision for your future? Majority of students I interview, what they said, I would like to go to Korea for working. Oh, really? Why? Because Korea is better than our country. I found out one of businessmen, the Japanese businessman, he donated about $3 million to this school at the time. It's more than 15 years ago. It's about, you know, that million dollars, you know, that time their tuition fees about yearly tuition, about, um, I remember about three or $400, about 40, $40, about 40, but like a couple million dollars he donated and what? This school can support all many students with free scholarship. So many people, they were really happy and really respect the businessman. The businessman, but somehow required one thing. All students, they have to learn Japanese as a what? Elective course. And they go to Japan as a field trip, learn about Japanese culture. I found out this one later. While visiting Japan, they were able to visit Japanese company factories. And they were really amazed by their developed technology. Then when they came back from the field trip to Japan, everyone said, my vision is to go to Japan. The working as one of our staff members makes some money. This is not the vision for education. Somehow, this all the funds, which is the money scholarship, to what makes, raise future labor workers for a certain country. That's not the meaning of a scholarship. I realize everyone needs opportunities about education. Everyone needs quality of education in their lives. In my school, APU, what he keeps saying that, God first. Whatever you do, God is number one priority. So we start to think about how we can support. I have research about Korean education and K-12, which is kindergarten to high school, and what is it? Higher education, which is college. Guess what? Reverend Moon, Son Myung, is the one of the cultic leaders in South Korea, unfortunately. My uncle, actually, he now is uh, one of uh, the huge, I mean, the top ranking persons in this you know, religion, which is the Unification Church. I met sometimes uh, that during the uh, holiday seasons, uh, we talk about religion, even my um, which is the uh, aunt, is that uh, she's American actually. And they talk about their unification church with Christianity. So Reverend Moon, he started to think about how we can share the gospel, their gospel, not Christian gospel, not Bible. They start to think about what? Building up great, making up great education. It's really famous, prestige artist, art school in South Korea, even well-known school in the world. And a lot of Christians, family members, they want to send their kids to what? This school. Why? Because they have a great outcome achievement for college. Seoul, National University, Yonsei, Korea University. If you go here, the people say that, oh, my kids will have better opportunities to get accepted prestige colleges, even though they know this school belongs to Unification Church. During chapel time, they learn about not Christianity, but Unification Church, all the theology. Cheongshim Gukjeakyo, this is one of the famous international schools in South Korea. 
well developed education curriculum and building structures well you know beautiful many Christians even they want to send their kids to this place why why because name driven ranking driven what they said vision driven well, my question is this one even cultic leaders the people they do have their own vision for their own religions but what about our protestant protestant churches christians unfortunately we don't we don't have a privileged elementary middle and high school even you know college too on the right side person john wallace one of the presidents the uh the pacific university he passed away about a few years ago he told me running a school as a leader become not only just what the preacher the school leader must fit any departments sometimes you have to be at good at what Sh the cooking as a chef sometimes you must be good at speaker preachers sometimes you have to be what general which is what cleaning why because university college has many many different types of what departments and school leaders must know the context of students and their parents what they need what they want what they wish that's the figures figures of what characteristic of what school leadership and what he point out that everyone needs quality of education in Christ Two thousand fifteen, with this vision, and I prayed, and Dr. Yun and I we started the school, and we researched on many uh, locations, and uh, even the Paju area, Gangnam area, Mukdong area, many many locations. You may not know about this one. Uh, it's about the time to share this one. Why we select this location first? It is called diversity in students. Diversity student means what? Many different types of students. Maybe those who speak in English, those who speak in Korean, those speaking maybe other languages, other cultures. Maybe we do accept different races in this you know, place. We welcome them and encourage them to become the one body in the name of Christ. And the second one is this one. And what is the area that more, you know, that we could have more, you know, people, you know, we could reach out society between Paju and Ilsa. We believe this area that many, let's say, the people who need education and finance, also Jesus Christ. So we research a lot of areas, and we figure out this spot is more suitable, and we could work together. So we started open the school under Village Christian Academy Korea and Dr. Yoon and Ms. Joyce and Mr. Cloud and other teachers will join later. And while working on this running school, this is a picture, Mr. Park and I, we went to Japan and uh, the Philippine mission trip. Before we think about what would be the another education programs we could inspire our students to get engaged, to motivate, get motivated to focus on their study, it is called mission trip, student life programs. So visited Japan and uh, the Philippines, and we research about that. Then we encourage students to join. It's been nine years, nine years. The visiting many locations came back with what? Not ambition, but vision. You may not know this person, that some of you guys know, Mr. Jimmy, who died a few years ago. We, I, he and I, we talk about the vision of school, and Christian school, Christian education. He had a strong vision, even though he's a you know, single and younger, young person. And before he died, even until that moment, he shared, I want to teach. His passion for teaching, raising you know, his people. I'm pretty sure he's in heaven right now, and he's really joy, you know, watching and even listening your growth and making bearing great fruit in this ministry because what the vision god gave him in his life we're talking about god's vision but somehow we're struggling 
between ambition and vision and all the times and certain reasons. And Proverbs chapter 1, chapter 29, 18, once again, where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keeps the law, happy is he. Which means what? Everyone needs God's vision. And meanwhile, we need God's direction through the word of God. The Bible is the only direction, the resource that maintain us, help us to focus on what God commands us. Not, seriously, do not lean on too much your teachers, not your parents, even your friends. Only God, His message, which is the, the Bible, is the main resource we have to depend on to have what? Better vision for yourself and the kingdom of God. Why? The main reason is this one, for the glory of God. God made us for this reason, the glory of God. God created us for this reason, the glory of God. We're living for this reason. Our school existing what? For this reason. Because Jesus sent, God sent only Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, for our salvation, and for eternal life. It was huge, God's vision for everyone through Jesus Christ. That's why Jesus Christ, His sacrifice, cross, is so precious and meaningful to us. Mark chapter 12 and 30 and 31. Let me read this one and finish up. One Pharisee came to Jesus and he wanted to test Jesus Christ. What are you going to say that? Because he's so smart and knows God's commandments, everything's, and he want to test what Jesus said that. And he said what? Tell me, ask this question, tell me about the most important commandments among, among, in terms of what God, he, you know, he, according to what God you know, uh, teaches us, which means what? Among the Ten Commandments, or more than God's you know, commands, what is this most important uh, the message? What Jesus replied back, this one. Love your, the, Lord, the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. 하나님을 어떻게 해요? 마음을 다해. 몸을, 내, 너희가 갖고 있는 모든 이 정, 마음과 열정과 정성을 다해 하나님을 사랑하라고 말씀하셨습니다. And he add one thing. It is called neighbors. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commitment greater than these. It is called revolution. Probably the Pharisees who asked this question never ever expect about second opinion, about message. Love your neighbors as yourself. We know we have to love God with our best, but we all the times forgot loving caring other neighbors as ourselves. We're living, we're moving pretty soon. We decided. This is a location. I know some of you guys relocate to our school area. Thank you so much for your commitment. And uh, we're going to um, you know, have a better you know, campus environment. So this is a new location from here to uh, new places, but by walking, if you want to have an exercise, about 40 minutes. Okay, good time. Have a good time, okay? So, and by car, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. I think 10 minutes. And subway, is hop on the subway, Tanyan Station to the Ilsan Station. It takes about maybe less than 5 minutes. By, from the Ilsan Station to take here about 15 minutes. A lot that long. And the entire building structure, we're going to use it. Probably we're gonna miss this place because with a lot of noise, we do have you know, maybe um, some you know, uh, exercise or sound. We're gonna miss in the banners, we're gonna miss it. But I'm not gonna miss it, by the way. So, um, and this is the place. It's like, you know, as it looks kind of huge, but a little bit smaller than here, frankly. Uh, this place is pretty huge, actually, compared to other locations. And we are going to start, it is called Interior Project, which is a re remodeling projects pretty soon. Please pray for us. We've been working on this one for each classroom 
and each you know, subject and for your success, for your education and all teachers, there are a great you know, teaching environment that is the main resource and the reason. And then this there, when? January 1st, 2024. Are you happy? Yeah. All right, happy. However, we have to go through a lot of challenges. It's not easy. This vision is not for our ambition. It's vision for God. God share, give us this privilege to reach out more people and go through challenges and difficulties. What the Bible said, the cru crucible for silver and the finance for gold, but the Lord tests the heart. In order to become the great leaders of God and Jesus, then definitely more challenge, more even the difficulties we're going to face and go through. Then more we're going to have a solid faith and solid mind and solid what? Strong knowledge to be influential, ins inspirational among many people. Our school, goal is this one. We, reloc we will re relocate to you know, a new place for this vision. We love God with our mind and heart and strength. And also, we're going to reach out many neighbors, many people, share the love of God about Jesus Christ. We hope that you're going to join, all teachers will join, your parents, you join this great privileged opportunity. Let's bow our heads.